Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nikki LaRose and for today's video, I wanna talk about all of my January favorites. So let's get right into it. So these are some of my favorite videos because I get to just sit down and tell you about the products that I have been loving and grabbing the most throughout this entire month. Now, some of these products are new to the market, some of them are not. So it's kind of like a mix up of both, but let's get right into it. And the first product that's just in front of me that I can't stop eyeing and that I can't stop wearing is this shimmery blush from Girlactic. It's in the shade Bora Bora. Now, I will say I like them all. The brand, they're very kind to me. They send me their new products all the time. So I get to try their stuff a lot. These have just been on heavy rotation with my makeup looks as of lately, ever since I got them from the brand. But Bora Bora in particular, like I love all of them. Don't get me wrong. I love them all. I use them all. But Bora Bora is just something very special. And I don't know if you all follow me on Instagram. If you do, you might've caught my, I had like a, a giveaway with Girlactic. And this was one of the products I gave away in that giveaway bundle because it's just so pretty. It's one of my favorite products that they've ever launched that I've ever tried from the brand. Let me show you it. And let me tell you also why I am so, so in love with this blush. It's just a bright, beautiful, happy, shimmery pink. But I think what it dawned on me, like why I love it so much, it reminds me a lot of, I don't know if you remember the Becca times Chrissy Teigen palette that came out years back and it had like four different colors in it. One of them was a pink blush. It was like shimmery. It reminds me of this and it gives me like that same kind of vibe. And I think maybe that's why I also love it so much. But this has just been one of my absolute favorites. It's beautiful on its own, but I also love to top like my more matte blushes, like as a t blush topper. It's just stunning. Now, while I'm on the topic of Girlactic, I love the brand, but I especially love these shadow sticks. I think these are just a killer formula. Now, there are a lot of shadow sticks on the market. There's tons and tons of different makeup brands that carry shadow sticks. I have to say, I think these are by far my favorites um, just by the way they blend out, the way they are so creamy, they're really rich in pigment. They just check all the boxes for me as far as like a shadow stick goes, like they never disappoint me. So I find myself, cause I have so many from different brands, but I find myself always grabbing my Girlactic ones because I know, I just know how they're gonna wear and I just love, love the colors. So they have some new colors that came out just recently. And one of them in particular, I did include in my Girl Actic giveaway a couple months ago, and that was the shade Nutmeg. Nutmeg is like this beautiful, neutral, warm tone, like earthy kind of brown. I love that as an all over eyeshadow base. I have one in my makeup kit. I use it all the time. It's just, just a beautiful, like everyday color. The other ones I want to mention as well that I think are just stunning are blush and cashmere. So these have been like my three staples and my absolute go-tos. I've just been grabbing these so, so often. So I had to include them in my January favorites. Now, speaking of eye products, I had to include the new products from Hindosh. These are the Color Fluid Ultra Mattes. These are basically pure pigments. To me, these do lean a little more towards like the pro makeup artist than like the everyday consumer, but I just wanna tell you how easy these can be to use. So this one in particular is the shade Carve. Oh my gosh. This one I had to put in my professional makeup kit because I knew I was gonna use it on so many different faces that I work on. It was gonna be like a great neutral everyday just base, like just a beautiful neutral base to lay down on the eyes and to start any kind of eye makeup look. This makes a really great transitional shade on the eyes. It also just makes an all over great base. So you can layer it, you can wear it alone. There's so many different ways you can use this product. Now, the other colors that he launched are Rising, which is a beautiful, really rich orange. Hardest, which is just a nice neutral blush tone. This makes a beautiful blush. It also, of course, is beautiful as an eye paint or an eye pigment. This one I use for so many different reasons. You can mix this into different lipsticks. You can use this alone as a lipstick. It obviously makes a stunning blush if you're a little bit on the more like fair to medium side. He also made these to mix and match. So he wants you to get creative with your makeup with these products. And he does show you different ways on his social media on like how you can mix the two colors together to create unique and custom shades depending on what, what look you're going for. For me, I've mixed a few of them, but also, but ultimately I love the way they look just on their own. Like this one, makes a stunning, stunning base. If you are a deeper skin tone, use this as your eyeshadow base, or even as like a really soft blush or soft contour, and it's just stunning. The way these perform is, they definitely feel like a pro makeup artist type product, but don't let that scare you. Like I said, if you're just an everyday makeup wearer, stick to some of these neutrals like these two, and 
you're golden. They're just beautiful. So I love them. I think they're just so much fun and I just had to include them in my favorites. These next items are a new discovery for me. The brand Exa, I've been using their mascara for quite some time now and I love it. The brand is an Ulta and I actually didn't realize that until I just happened to be in an Ulta looking for a NARS product that I needed. And I saw their display and I was just totally sucked in. And then lo and behold, the brand reached out to me like literally the next day after I saw their display in Ulta and I was like eyeing their stuff. And they sent me a whole PR package filled with more of their products to try. So they sent me quite a few things, but the two things that have stood out so much to me and I'm like just, I'm shocked at how much I love this product that I'm about to show you is the foundation. Oh my gosh, this foundation. I have it on right now. I've been wearing it daily since they sent it to me. They sent me two shades. They sent me 350 and 360. 350 is almost a perfect match for me, but this is the High Fidelity Semi Satin Foundation and it really is a beautiful semi satin. I'm all about a satin foundation. I love a satin foundation. There's nothing like the way it looks on your skin. Like a satin finish just looks beautiful, smooth, flawless on your skin. This foundation feels amazing. It feels like one of the most high-end foundations money can buy you. So I'm obsessed. They're in Ulta, they're very, very affordable. And I've noticed too, like this just wears so nice throughout the day. I could put this on first thing in the morning, powder as I usually do, not like a crazy amount. I don't, as you know, I don't really wear primers often. And this will wear all day long and just look beautiful. Even my husband complimented my skin. He was like, your foundation looks so pretty. And I was like, it's the Exa. It looks so good. So I highly recommend this. This is a new find and I'm obsessed with it. Like I almost feel like this is just a really great hidden gem and I just haven't heard a lot of people talking about it yet, but I'm here to tell you, try it. It's just beautiful. And while I'm talking about Exa, as I said, and as you know, if you watch my channel, I'm not the biggest primer person. However, they did send me their Splash Zone Oil-Free Hydrating Primer. And if I'm gonna use a primer on myself personally, even though I have normal to oily skin, if I'm gonna use a primer, I want moisture. I want it to feel good. I want it to almost feel like skincare. And this definitely feels amazing. So if you're looking for a good basic hydrating primer to keep your makeup on and to like increase the longevity, Try this one out too. I think this makes a really winning combination. And I don't say that often because I'm just not a big primer person, but this has been really a killer, killer combo for me. Now also just a friendly reminder, if you're watching my videos and you're enjoying my content, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my future videos and give it a thumbs up. That really helps out my channel. Now moving on to this ColourPop palette that I have been loving and wearing so often. ColourPop is now in Target. When they launched in Target, they sent me a whole bunch of products that were going to be on the shelves. This was one of the products. It's their Send Nudes eyeshadow palette. I use this all the time. Like I... I traveled recently. I threw this in my makeup bag. It's small, it's compact. I love the color payoff. The shadows blend on so good. I mean, they have a great formula and it's incredibly cheap. I think this is like $14 for this whole palette. Maybe it's 12. No, I think it's 14, but they have it at Target. They also have it online, but this has just been my favorite. It's just a good neutral go-to. I have a couple reels on my Instagram using this palette. I love these bottom shades for like a dark wing liner. If I'm going for like a little daytime wing liner look, but it also has a good amount of like solid neutrals for a daytime look. And then you could also bump it up with some of these more fun shimmers. It's just a great solid eyeshadow palette. So if you're looking for something affordable, that's a neutral and like warm tone, definitely check this out. This next favorite is a lip balm and it's not groundbreaking. I'm just gonna throw that out there, but I do really, really love it. And I've been grabbing it daily ever since I received it. I did receive this in PR from the brand Fenty Beauty. It's their Plush Pudding Intensive Recovery Lip Mask. Now, what I really like about this, if I'm being honest, is I really like the packaging. I'm just gonna put it out there. I love the packaging that kind of like sold me on the whole thing. The reason why I like it is you twist off the cap. And as you can see, I've already twisted up too much, but you essentially twist the bottom and it pumps up just, you know, enough product to apply to your lips. So there's no digging your finger in, there's no having to grab a spatula if you wanna be like ultra sanitary and like, they just, you, you skip all that. You just twist it up, you swipe it off, you put it on, boom, you're done. I've been using this at night before I go to bed. I wake up with incredibly moisturized 
lips. But not only that, I'll put this on before I do like a makeup video just to like prep my lips and get them nice and hydrated. They've been really dry lately and this just feels really nice. So I know there's a ton of lip balms and lip conditioners out there on the market, but if you want to try something that's just great all around, it has like a really cool container. I love this. Now these next products I actually received from the brand many, many months ago. I actually lost track of when I did receive them, but they're lipsticks from BK Beauty. If you watch my channel or you're familiar with my Instagram, you know that I love their brushes. I use their brushes. At this point, I use their brushes more than any other brushes that I have in my collection. And I have quite the extensive collection of brushes, needless to say. Like I have, I have so, I have a sea of brushes that you can't really see that are over here. Um, their brushes have quickly taken over as my favorites because of just, I mean, I could go on forever. They, the way they apply makeup, the way they blend it out, how soft they are, the incredible quality that they are is pretty much unmatched. And they put a lot of the other brushes that I've been using to shame, just to be honest. Their lipsticks, I, I basically like slept on, so to speak. Like I had them, I swatched them, I thought they were beautiful. And then I kind of forgot about them. But then recently this month I picked up a few of these and I started wearing them regularly and I quickly realized I was missing out and I was collecting these beautiful formulas. Now my two favorite colors that I have been wearing so, so much. And if you see me on social media, I am probably wearing one of these shades if I haven't listed it in the product descriptions. But the two ones that I love the most are Inner Beauty and Acceptance. Now Acceptance is this beautiful, neutral and like natural everyday pink. This is just, oh my gosh, it's so, so pretty on. This especially goes amazing with my favorite lip liner at the moment, the Makeup Forever Anywhere Caffeine Lip Liner. If you know, you know that lip liner is just stunning. This lipstick goes so perfectly with that. And then the other one is just a slightly deeper, more rosy tone. They're both just beautiful, flattering colors and they're great like everyday dailies. Like I can grab these, I can put them on. I know they're gonna be really flattering. They're gonna be beautiful with so many of my lip liners. And the formula is really what makes them stand out. The formula is so, so nice. They feel very conditioning and moisturizing on your lips, but they still stay put. So you kind of skip that annoying process of like having a really moisturizing, like emollient lipstick on, but you have to retouch and reapply all throughout the day because it just doesn't have that staying power. These actually have really good staying power and really good longevity, and they just feel really comfortable on my lips. So these have definitely been on like heavy rotation as far as like my lip colors go. And as far as like the ones that I will grab, Cause like weekly, just to like throw this out there, every week I kind of look at my lipsticks, I'll grab like two or three and I'll put them in my purse. Like my purse that I like put my life in when I'm on the go. And so these have been ones that I've grabbed the most recently this past month that go with me to events, that go with me to work and that I'm wearing consistently daily. So love these, I had to include them. So if you haven't tried this formula, give them a shot. Okay, last but not least, I always gotta throw in a wild card, something that's not actually makeup or a makeup product. And I, I had to include this because I've been wearing it every single day. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw that I did get the new Prada Paradox perfume sent to me in PR. I was so excited. When I got this box, I was, you don't even understand. I was so, so excited. And I, I was determined to make this work for me, even though as someone who is very prone to headaches um, very frequently and perfume is one of those things that could be like a really big trigger for me as far as my migraines go. This, I'm not gonna lie, this gave me a really bad headache the first day as most perfumes do. But I kind of have, I, I kind of know that going into a new perfume, there's a gonna be an adjustment day, like a really bad adjustment day for me personally, where my body and my senses and my sense of smell has to like get used to a new fragrance and just adapt to it before I can move on and stop getting a headache from it. So I had one bad day where I wore this for the first time. I got a really bad headache. I even wore it to Pilates and like the whole time I was working out, I was just, oh my gosh. But once I got past that, I'm so in love with this fragrance. I can't even tell you. I get literally sniffed out for this. I've had three people recently just know right away that I was wearing this. They were like, are you wearing the Prada perfume? I'm like, yes, I'm totally wearing it. And I'm obsessed with it. But it's just a really beautiful fragrance. It has like notes of being sweet, but it also has like a tinge of floral to it, but not an overwhelming amount of floral. It just, it, to me, it feels very clean. Like it smells just fresh and clean and like also kind of like cool girl and like luxurious. If you've smelled this and you feel like those descriptives 
make sense and you agree with them, leave me a comment and let me know. If you feel different and you think it smells like something else entirely, I would love to hear your thoughts because I feel like fragrance is so fun because you kind of, different people can smell different things and like pick up on different notes. But anyway, this is my favorite. I've been wearing it every single day in January and I can will continue to wear it into February and who knows until I get a different perfume that I fall in love with. But it's the Prada Paradox perfume and it is just, so, so nice. So that wraps up my January favorites. I had so much fun sharing these with you all. I love these videos. They're so much fun to me just to like sit down and hang out and talk about things that I like. Let me know in the comments if any of these are your favorites or if there are some products that you were wanting to try and this just helped you out along the way. If you like videos like this, you can check out this other one right here and I'll see you all soon. Bye.